All right, so we are starting with the evidence for chemical changes. In any reactions, when you see gas release, bubble formation, gas release, when you see bubbles, that's where you can say, oh, there is a chemical change is happening in there. Recently, this summer, I traveled to Yellowstone. And I saw those geysers, and those gas is coming out. We say, oh, there is some chemical reactions going on. So it's what? Indicators for chemical change, right? So that's when you can say, oh, there is a chemical change happening. Second one, light or release of heat energy. Release of heat energy. When you see heat release or exhaust, you can say there is an indicator of chemical <coughs> change. Or there is a light produce, you can say it's a chemical change. A permanent color change. <clears throat> So these are indicator for chemical changes. Okay? So for let's say when you are mixing two chemicals and there is suddenly the color change, that's where you can say, oh, there is a chemical reaction going on. There is a chemical change happening, right? So those are indicators.